Hello and welcome to this video. I'm your host, Robert Mitchell, and today Electropages is here in Munich for Electronica 2024, and it's been an absolutely phenomenal event. And today we're at the Kia Cirrus stand, and I'm joined by Carmen Redondo. And the last time we saw you, Hello. Well, I think it was two years ago. Yes, uh, here in Electronica. Yeah, and so it's, it's been a long time since we last saw what you guys are up to. So I was, I'm very excited that you've uh, come to see us. Oh, we've come to see you today. And, uh, <laughs> yes, I'm really great to, to see what's going on. So before we jump into all of this stuff, just for the sake of the audience, uh, explain who you are, what you do, and what you like to do in your free time. Uh, oh, wow. So my name, as you said, is Carmen Redondo. Uh, I'm director of global marketing for antennas. Uh, so I'm in charge uh, worldwide for antennas for the roadmap and new products. So we're very connected to the new technologies. And uh, based in France, and what I would like to do in the free time is a very good question. So I really like uh, sports and dancing. So. That's a lot more active than me because I don't move off the couch. That's fantastic. So, why don't you go through and show us what you guys are showing at Electronica yeah. today? So, as you know, we are doing antennas for many different applications, yep. uh, for consumer, for IoT. And in this show, because we are uh, uh, exhibiting with the rest of uh, divisions, we are focusing in e-mobility and automotive. So, everything you see here is uh, antennas. Yep. RF components yep. and uh, also the crystals that yep. we are putting together. So the way we are dividing is like we have uh, e-mobility in this area. Uh, so in e-mobility we see like uh, EV charging, uh, for example, e-bikes, e-scooters. So we have different type of antennas we are presenting here. Um, one I would like to highlight, you see this large antenna, like why it's so large compared to others, because it's really independent from the ground. So when you have EV charges, but your antenna is far away from uh, the, the PC, the main PCB, you can have a very good performance as antenna. Here we see another antenna which has a special connector, which is a lock connector. And in this case means that when you connect, it's like MHF type, it will lock it. So it means like for vibration, you know, when you go in uh, electrical yeah. vehicles, in drones, you will be able to have the full connectivity. And then below we have some crystals, you know, because uh, as we we not only have uh, antennas, but in the crystals, for the people who are not familiar, it's like a metronome in music. So we are kind of uh, giving the time or the IC. Yep. And this is different sizes that we have with very uh, good accuracy for this type of applications. Then we look at fleet tracking. So here we have two examples of uh, trackers, one from uh, one of our customers, very small size with a an cellular antenna for cat M, and also a GPS antenna, which is SMT. And uh, here is, is a really good example to show how you can make products such a small, but because the size of affects the performance. So, so yeah. to be clear in this one, it's, it, this is the product feature right here. This is the actual yeah, antenna is the, itself. This is the yeah. GPS antenna, and this yeah. is the cellular antenna uh, uh -huh. based on uh, FR4. And, and uh, inside here, where do we see and here so is the very similar here. antenna, so yeah, it's on the other side. Yeah. And this case is a different type, and it's, uh, this is an OBD uh, car, uh, OBD uh, dongle, and yeah. this is connected to the car. And That's actually, right. the funny part is that we have in our um, office in France, we have an automotive chamber. So actually, we don't only measure, because this is not the real performance. The real performance is yeah. when you connect the device to the car. So yeah. we are able to measure what happens when you connect it to the car, what is the kind of performance you have, connectivity outside the car. So this is the kind of thing that we are And, and so you actually have a vehicle that you plug this thing into. And here you... is the, you can Oh, there it is, look at that. Chamber. So this chamber is in France, and we are, uh, we can drive in the car and we can measure, because when people think of antennas in the car, they think of antennas on the roof, the sharp fin and everything. But actually, we will be very surprised to know how many antennas are inside the car. Mm. Uh, uh, and that's why it's very important to measure in the real environment. But, but, but it's also funny how, like, you know, when you, if you, you could test this on the bench and get whatever yeah. characteristics you want. But you're not going to get, like you say, the real world test where the engines are turning on, the, the voltage is spiking all over the place, the it's connected to an actual vehicle. Yeah, the, you have no idea if you've got actual, you know, any kind of signal from the sky. Mm -hmm. So it's good, so it's, good. So it's interesting to see you guys are actually trying to deploy it in a test environment, but in an actual vehicle. Now, that to, is the yeah, test environment. It's very, very different because, yeah. of course, the cellular antenna is connected to the outside. Yeah. So when you are inside the vehicle, you will have different environment. Yeah, exactly. You know, and, uh, especially sometimes you have... Uh, oh, of course, they can, that can go straight into the back of the dashboard, can't it, where you've yes. got your uh, cam port. Exactly. Uh, yeah, 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 you've got your cam, yeah, exactly. you cam bus, yeah. Yes. And I absolutely love how you've got these little lenses here to exactly show how tiny these things so are. Tiny. Oh so my goodness. Lenses, it's those individual are... little black dots. I don't think they'll actually come on the camera. These are matching components uh, that are very, very tiny, uh, one millimeter. And uh, this is uh, based on film film. 
Mm. So all this, um, another thing I want to mention is that all these antennas, this antenna is the same that you would see maybe in IoT, but yep. it's, it's a different part number. You see there's an A in automotive, and this is because we have qualified them under of the course. ACQ 200. So it's oh, excellent. Higher reliability, they have a yep. higher temperature range. Vibration, all that kind exactly, of stuff. Exactly, yep. exactly. So the same for the matching components. These matching components are based on thin film, and they have a very extreme accuracy. It's the most accurate in the market. It's like 0 0.01 or 0 0.05 in oh, the tolerance. It's very, very uh, high tolerance, automotive 35, so this is very, uh, very common in automotive. Mm -hmm. I tell you, I, I, the side, the I didn't. I don't think you could actually. You can't pick and place that. It's so tiny, <laughs> but you can. Yeah, and that's the thing. That's the weird thing. It's like, <laughs> that is so small. I can't even imagine that ever working. But it's. In, but it's incredible. So, uh, and so when you say matching components, are we talking ferrite resistors, capacitors? Or are we saying kind of like? Yeah, uh, uh, this is uh, inductor capacitors. In, inductors. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. you have the AQP is the cap uh, capacitors, and yep. the AQR is the inductors. Inductors. Yeah. And that, and that way you can do your uh, RF circuitry and make sure it absolutely exactly. matches. Yeah. That's perfect. Exactly. Um, so, um, it, so, so, what exactly is going on here then? So this is when we are talking about antennas in the car. Mm. So now with the BMS is the battery management system that mm. traditionally has been made with cables. Now is the wireless battery management system. So what it means that each cell of the battery is connected wirelessly. Yeah. So what's the advantage of that besides the weight? Because you don't have all the cables connecting everything. But if you have a problem in one of the batteries, we just replace it with a new one. Yeah. So this is the advantage. And we have this antenna, the 1,010,13, with advantage is that it performs over ground. Because you can imagine the amount of metal around, because it's in a metallic box, it has to connect to something else. So this antenna, compared to PCB trays or chip antennas, if you put it over metal, it still perform well. So, so, so you're saying, is, so I've never heard this before, on off ground. It means that normally, the you see you here, you have a clearance around the antenna, so yeah. below. Most of the embedded antennas, you want to have free space below to perform better. Yes, to radiate. that's right. Yeah, yeah. This antenna, you can put it over a metal over plate. Over a copper pore, a, core, a, a yeah. copper pore on a PCB, for example. Yes, yeah. a PCB, uh, whatever metal structure you have, aluminium, and then it will still perform, which is a very uh, strength advantage because it's very reliable. You can have it in frequency. But so when you put it in the battery, it won't be. Uh, I'm really trying to figure out how that works. How 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 does that? Work? I don't yeah. understand how. That, sorry, <laughs> see, 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 well, that's the thing because <laughs> everything about RF, as I understand it, you know, you always have, you always have, you get rid of the ground planes. You have an antenna, it picks it up. You have a ground reference, all that kind of stuff. And yet you've got an antenna, and, and any RF engineer would say, make sure there's no ground plane below it. Exactly. So and now you're saying, well, here's the ground, ground plane. <laughs> it still yes. works. So this so, antenna is designed, of course, in the first layer when the antenna is connected, of course there is a clearance, but the bottom layer of the PCB is it ground. It doesn't need to. And, it's, oh, and you can place it on the ground. Okay? And that's the point. So you yes. still, so the top layer would still have it removed. Yeah, because you need to feed the antenna. But you, but you don't need much. It's the, it's that, the clearance, yeah, it's the the clearance the between space. that ground plane and that and chip antenna is extremely yeah, small. Exactly. So it doesn't need to be like yeah, yeah. massive. Yeah. So that makes, okay, that's actually quite yeah, interesting. Yes. Um, but again, we, yeah. I think we're, we're going to have to get you onto the podcast to talk more about that because that's, <laughs> that's a very interesting technology. Yeah. So, um, and then also in WBMS, oh, yeah. we have the uh, AccuGuard. So these are yeah. the fuses. They are also the smallest in the market. As you can see, it's like very, very, very tiny. And they have very high reliability and high precision as well. And here we have, again, one of the crystals. So as you see, we are trying to combine all our RF components, antennas, crystals, all per application. So then our FAs can help the customers to uh, go through the full solution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in terms of these fuses, because these, these fuses are absolutely tiny, and then you said they're low current, so they're not, not protecting batteries, but I'm guessing they're going to protect the sensitive parts of your RF systems and the, and the battery management yeah. system itself. Yeah. Um, and I suppose before we uh, wrap this part of the video up, if there's a... Uh, sorry, do that one again. Sorry, my, my, my brain went somewhere else. Sorry, three, two, yeah, three, two. So before we wrap this part of the video up, uh, for those who are watching this video and where they want to get involved with your solutions, what would you recommend that they do? So recommend to talk to us because I think this is something I know that people sometimes are afraid and uh, you know we don't know what to ask and everything but you will be surprised how many customers come and we can give them really great ideas and solutions to go smoothly through the magic of RF and, uh, and if they're in electronica or they come or in the next show you know we are 
helping our customers get in some nice simple kits where they can see all these antennas and they are able to uh, design. And oh, check that out. Oh, that's, can get check well that out. For you. That is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm definitely taking one of these. All the different Japan antenna uh, uh, samples in one little pack. That's brilliant. That's so cool. Well, I have to what? say, oh, go on, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, I was going to say thank you for visiting us. Uh, yeah, and I was, I, I was going to say we have to def definitely get into the podcast because we'd love to talk to you more about these on off ground systems because they are very, very interesting. And again, you know, the, you know we, we, start, we are starting to see the emergence of these kind of like more advanced wireless power systems uh, inside, inside vehicles. And it's great to see that you guys got some fantastic technology around that. So all I can say is thank you so much thank for taking you. the time thank to see you. us today. Mm -hmm. Thank you.